What's going on, Low Key Music Entertainment and YouTube family? This is Grady Scott of Low Key Music Entertainment here to demo uh, a great virtual instrument by Native Instruments called B4. Uh, and this is the second version that they placed out. Right out the box, uh, I want to let y'all know that really because of time constraints on the length of videos, we're not going to dive real deep into how to use it, but more or less give you a bird's eye view of some of the things that you could do with the program. Uh, as an organ player, you probably have been frustrated with some of the patches that you see on a lot of keyboards, uh, even more frustrated on some of the um, instruments or synths that are dedicated to organs. Uh, if you're anything like I am, I really love uh, a, a really good Hammond sound. Um, it's warm and there's a lot of great things that you could do with it. Uh, with this um, virtual instrument by Native, I really believe that they hit the nail square on the head and they had to either consult with organ players or their organ players. Uh, right out the box, when you purchase it, you can use Native, um, this instrument before as a standalone, which means you really don't have to have Pro Tools or Cakewalk or Ableton or the other programs. You can just open it on your PC or Mac and go, go play. Uh, it is beneficial though to have a DAW system like Pro Tools or uh, like we just mentioned, but it's not necessary to operate this program. Looking at the uh, the manual setting, you could see that they really captured a lot of the niceties, if you will, of a Hammond, such as a Leslie switch, the brake on the Leslie, which you can click on and move, uh, both manuals, the percussion kit, which is awesome, uh, and the uh, vibrato control, as well as chorus control. These come uh, with a lot of presets, and each preset you can tweak to your own benefit and the combinations are really infinite. Let's take a look at some of the setup. The great thing is if you're controlling the uh, the B4 virtual instrument with your uh, MIDI controller, you can incorporate the areas that we saw in the manual into your specific um, controller. And that's simply done by using the learn function. Let's look at the rotor itself. Say I wanted to, um, while I'm playing, instead of stopping and clicking on a mouse, I just want to flip a switch on my MIDI controller. Well, I'll click learn, and then just dial the knob. And now every time I dial that knob, I change, I turn the rotor on and off. And you can set that with all of these assignments here. Now let's see this in action. These are presets that came out the box so you can kind of get an idea of what you're working with. This even actually has the drive function as well, which gives it that more distorted, gritty feeling. It even has the volume pedal at the bottom. Again, all of which is controllable by your MIDI controller. Turn that off right quick because that's really getting in the way. There we go. Uh, again, the great thing about the setup is you can actually save your setup and then once you save it, whenever you 
open the program up again, instead of re trying to remember where you placed all the controller assignments, you simply load it and you're good to go. I really didn't mean to do that one. My fault, folks. So again, you can personalize this by using your own sounds. And the great thing about that, if you look at the back of the organ, you can change the cabinets. All right, I gotta go back to playing that. Um, let's do this. One. So you can see how you can pretty much get lost in here, and this is just the organ setting. I like that one. You could imitate like you're in the studio and you're engineering by placing or moving the mic. And the list goes on and on. You can control your percussion effects here as well as control how fast your Leslie turns on and off. So you can really see how using a, a program like this really could enhance any gospel setting. Uh, if you're a gospel producer, this is like a ram in the bush for you. Um, if you do Latin, it has some great sounds on there for you as well. Again, all are custom. You, you can customize them to your situation. That's more. Fun. So what I would recommend from here is, if you can, uh, if you're looking at purchasing. Uh, virtual instru instruments for your studio production always 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 do your homework um, try to get your hands on a demo check the sounds out for yourself and see if they fit your needs if they fit your needs it makes sense to go ahead and get it if it doesn't fit your needs hey, you can move on to the next product that will uh, again we're all about showcasing light on stuff that could help Now, using this in a MIDI setting, as we close here, uh, you can see really some of the great things that you could do with this. Uh, as an organ player, you don't have to be spot on like a, a percussive instrument like a piano would be. On a piano, you hit a bad note, eh, it's coming out. But when you pad and organ players who, there, there are a lot of sloppy organ players who, um, incorporate that into their style there's nothing wrong with that in fact it sounds great organs a great instrument you could do that on it's almost like messing up on purpose uh but if you do if you utilize this specific organ patch or program with midi i'm i'm, I'm certain that you could do things that you really typically wouldn't do on a sunday morning so um that's pretty much it for this program here i want to thank y'all for your dedication your time your energy and i hope everything works out great for you whatever you do continue to write get better at your craft until the next video my friends take care god bless keep rocking